Okay, so hi everyone. Um, this is going to be our first lecture on GRE and I am Shabha, your GRE mentor. So what is this lecture going to be about? I'll discuss the framework, like what kind of syllabus is going to be there in your examination. And then we will start with the 10 of the, you can say the most important high frequency words. And these words will be like, uh, what kind of words are related for your vocabulary. These words will help you in sentence equivalence text completion and moreover your reading comprehension right so whosoever are there just ping me up in the comments like uh, what are you waiting for and what are your names and all that so that even i can relate to you with your names and then there will be a practice test at the last and in the practice test we will solve the questions based on these 10 vocabulary set this entire is taken from manhattan book okay so it will be a sequence of thousand frequency words Thousands of words will be there and you have to list out like at the end, what is the right answer of the question? Okay, so what is the name tag time? Hello? Okay, so first is I'm going to discuss a pattern with you. Okay, so it's about verbal reasoning and your paper, entire paper is divided into approximately three portions are gifted. It's four portions are there. So RC is there. It can be logic based also and the simple one, right? Then it is your sentence equivalence and text completion. For sentence equivalence also, I'm going to record some of the lectures like from Han Manhattan book. There are 128 exercises. So three of the exercises will be published every week. Uh, you can say every week, uh, some of the concepts clearing and you will be able to learn the words and the passages through it. So this will be very helpful for you. Do follow for that also. Now, next is your, like, this is a complete set, how your exam is going to be there, how many sections we are covering, and this is the entire pattern. Now, what today's set is, like, officially GRE, we have got 10 words, and these 10 words will be on your chips at the last. So, very first word is abet, then is abens, abrant, abdicate, abjure, abrasive, abreast, abase, abridge, and above. Now, I'll tell you the pronunciation also, exactly how you need to remember it out and what are the hacks to learn it. The very first thing is, like, this is an exact extract from where, from the Manhattan book, it has been taken. And how you need to tell it, you can even recall it and recheck it from your book. Now, these are the words, and this is a simple definition which is given in your book. It gets very boring when you have to learn it from the book. Apart from it, like, the, I need to have some of the interesting caliber how you can remember it wholeheartedly. Now, the very first thing I'm going to discuss it with you, right? So the word of the day is, first word is a base. Now I'll tell you how to learn this thing. A base is there, do learn it with the phenomena, a plus base. Now, whenever, I hope there are some of the students who are from Hindi or Punjabi medium also, do message me out so that I will be bilingual in it. And I'll help you to learn it in both the ways, Hindi plus Punjabi. Okay. So very first word is a base. A base ka matlab kya hai? Aap dekho, a plus base. Whenever you try to humiliate, ya kisi ki aap base karte ho, so how you speak it out is, you generally say is that you take him to the base level. Matlab kisi ko neecha dikhana, kisi ko bura bolna, that is what you exactly do. So this is a situation where you embarrass or shame someone, like I am shaming someone, I am embarrassing someone, I am humiliating someone, right? I am degrading, I am lowering down, I am shaming down, I am reducing down, I am disgracing someone, I am demeaning someone. How the word demean come? We all have some of the meaning in our life, okay? Har insan ka kuch matlab hai is zindagi mein. So whenever you are violating, aapka matlab aapki life se khatam ho raha hai, that is termed as D mean, right? So a base is the first word. A base means when you are humiliating someone, shaming someone, embarrassing someone, diminishing someone, disgracing someone, demeaning someone, belittling, degrading, and debasing. So this was the very first word. Now I'll tell you like how you can learn this word in the sentence format also. How you can speak it in your sentences and your everyday language. Don't abase your cousin by making fun of his accent. Me apne cousin ki bezati mat karo, uske accent ko lekar. And what do you mean by accent? Like anyone, if knows the meaning of accent, 
can put and drop down in the comments also now what do you mean by uh, this thing don't abase your cousin matlab apne cousin ko humiliate mat karo uske accent ko lekar second is like uh, the demotion did not abase his credibility with his peers peers means your friend circle okay so your friends and family that is something what is the meaning of peers and demotion is you get it is the opposite of promotion right so demotion promotion तो डिमोशन से भी उसके पीयर्स में उसकी वैल्यू का उसके क्रेडिबिलिटी का फर्क नहीं हुआ कोई राइट सो दिस इज अ मीनिंग यू शुड अबेस योर सेल्स एज मिजरेबल फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज व्हाट एक्चुअली इज अ मीनिंग ऑफ अबेस पुटिंग एन एंड टू द फर्स्ट वर्ड इट इज ह्यूमिलेटिंग समवन और यू कैन से डिग्रेडिंग समवन किसी को उसके बेस नीचा दिखाना इज टर्म एज अबेस that was the very first word i hope it is clear and in case of any doubt you can just tell me in the comments like what is the problem and what is the doubt in case it comes to anyone right so the next is next word is abate now what do you mean by abate abate means now i'll teach you two words from here abate ka matlab hota hai jab aap kisi cheez ka level kam karte ho now of course it's raining okay So raining starts. Okay, पहले थोड़ा सा बूंदा बांदी हुई ड्रिजलिंग हो रही है उसके बाद प्रॉपर बारिश हो रही है सो आफ्टर इट इज रेनिंग वॉट इट कम्स द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ रेनफॉल डिक्लाइन तो इंटेंसिटी कम होना वेन द इंटेंसिटी ड्रॉप डाउन दैट इज टर्म एज अ बेट ओके सो द डिक्रीज इन द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ समथिंग दैट इज टर्म एज अ बेट इट कैन बी डिमिनिशिंग इट कैन बी रिड्यूसिंग moderating lessen declining decrease dwindle and let up so what are the words which are used for abate abate is a word which is used for the downfall decreasing lowering down the level of something right so here you have got a good number of synonyms for it this is decreasing diminishing dull dwindle wane subside slow all you can do is you can remember two three words from here and then we can move to the next so we have learned two words till now first was a base that is to humiliate someone or degrade someone second word was a bait that is lowering down the intensity of something so these were the two words and a bait is generally used for rainfall for the storm aandhi aayi toofan aaya dheere dheere uska level kya ho jayega कम हो जाएगा और अल्टीमेटली वो क्या हो जाएगा खत्म हो जाएगा क्लियर सो हाउ टू यूज इट इन सेंटेंस इज इन एन आर और सो द स्टॉम वुड अबेट एंड दे कुड लिव व्हाट डज इट मीन एज एक घंटे तक बारिश खत्म हो जाएगी आंधी तूफान खत्म हो जाएगा और जो पर्सन है वो अपने घर में वापस जा सकता है आई टुक लॉरा सम होममेड कुकीज होपिंग टू अबेट हर सैडनेस मैं उसके लिए कुछ होममेड कुकीज लेकर गया ताकि उसकी जो सैडनेस है उसका दुख है वो क्या हो सके कम हो सके टेकिंग पेन मेडिसिन कैन कॉज हेड एक्स टू अबेट अब हम पेन किलर लेते हैं हेड एक की कुछ मेडिसिन लेते हैं वॉट इज द मोटिव ऑफ इट कि जो हमारी पेन है पेन रिलीविंग चीजें हैं वो कम हो सके सो पेनफुल होती है चीज मेडिसिन लेने से क्या हो जाएगा इट विल अबेट दैट इज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ दैट इज विल लोअर डाउन सो दिस इज अ मीनिंग ऑफ इट एंड यू कैन हैव इट दिस हाउ द कर्व ऑफ अबेटमेंट लुक्स कम होते जाना बारिश हुई थी ज्यादा हुई थी कम हो गई खत्म हो गई आंधी आई थी कम हो गई खत्म हो गई सो दैट इज द लेवल एंड दैट इज अ ग्राफ हाउ इट लुक्स नेक्स्ट वर्ड वी हैव इज एबडिकेट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय एबडिकेट इट्स एन अदर ब्यूटिफुल वर्ड एंड यू कैन नोटिस दिस वर्ड मिलियन ऑफ टाइम्स एंड द न्यूज पेपर सो फार ओके सो वॉट डज दिस वर्ड एक्चुअली मीन दस जब हम आप सुनते हो लाइक देर वो किंग्स एंड द क्वींस राइट एंड दे यूज टू वो विलिंगली अपनी थ्रोन को गिव अप करते थे ताकि उनके जो बच्चे हैं द नेक्स्ट हायर हेयर यू कैन से आई आर दैट पर्सन कैन हैव द सीट राइट नाउ ठीक है तो जब हम किसी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी को विलिंगली हम कहते हैं कि हमें और नहीं करना है दैट इज टर्म्ड एज एबडिकेट राइट सो एबडिकेट इज टर्म्ड 
when you willingly leave or you can say you give up from some kind of a responsibility now it is like you are resigning agar aap khud resign kar rahe ho the best example is surrender you uh, kill someone and then you surrender oh that was my mistake so that is also termed as abdicate give up yield forge renounce relinquish abandon so that is when you willingly give up your responsibility that you don't want that i am not responsible for this thing any more surrender can be there and any other option so it is abjure resign retire surrender leave and even quit you see this kbc and all that and there also the person says that you want to continue this game or you want to quit so quit means that you want to willingly end that duty right so this was the meaning of abdicate so three four so far first was your a base that is humiliating someone the second word was your abdicate that is when you are finally giving up something and one more thing i would like to tell you before this and the third word you can say the sec, uh, third word is abate that is you are decreasing the intensity of something now using it in a sentences like the king decided to abdicate in favor of his son a king ne decide kiya ki main apni throne ko chhodne ke liye taiyar hu kyun apne bete ko rajgaddi dene ke liye i want to abdicate the responsibility to deal with these act in correct manner मैं अपनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी को क्या करना चाहता हूँ कम करना चाहता हूँ खत्म करना चाहता हूँ ताकि मैं और चीजों पे ध्यान दे सकू ही एग्री टू एबडिकेट एंड रिटायर इन फेवर ऑफ द नेक्स्ट लाइन फॉर द थ्रोन द पर्सन डिसाइडेड ठीक है मैं गिव अप कर देता हूँ अपने थ्रोन को ताकि नेक्स्ट पर्सन राजगद्दी पर आके बैठ सके सो मेनी टाइम्स यू सी इन द फैमिलीज ऑल्सो द पर्सन और द मदर से आई एम आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी मोर रिस्पॉन्सिबल मैं और घर का काम घर का ध्यान नहीं रखना चाहती तो वो अपनी बहू को दे देते हैं सो दिस इज ऑल्सो टर्म्स एज एबिकेशन यूर विलिंगली गिविंग अप योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज यू विल गेट द डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ इट एंड यू कैन डाउनलोड इट आउट एंड इवन यू हैव एनी क्वाइरीज इन ऑल दैट लेटर ऑन इफ यू सी दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन ड्रॉप इन द कमेंट्स एंड आस मी लाइक दिस वॉज द प्रॉब्लम एंड आई विल आंसर यू इन दैट राइट नेक्स्ट इज योर एबरेंट ना वट यू मीन बाय एबरेंट इज it's very simple and generally it is used in the form of abortion also how in the abortion we usually do our work right we go to officers and we like i just give you example of corona times corona mein sabhi log apne ghar pe baithe the right and everyone was sitting lairly at their homes but everyone was getting like a uh, kind of pissed off while sitting at the home they wanted to have a break ki thodi si break mil jaye is life se ताकि हमारी कुछ आउटिंग हो सके तो जो नॉर्मल रूटीन होता है उससे जब हम कुछ आउटिंग चाहते हैं दैट इज टर्म एज एबरेंट एबोर्शन राइट सो सम काइंड ऑफ एन आउटिंग नॉट नॉर्मल एनीथिंग यू वांट अ ब्रेक फ्रॉम योर रूटीन दैट इज टर्म एज एबोर्शन और अकेला वर्ड एबरेंट आ जाए अगर आपको तो दैट इज टर्म एज समथिंग दैट इज नॉट नॉर्मल deviant was the line is in the straight direction and i just tilt it out that is deviant out of line something weird bizarre different peculiar a typical so abortion un cheezon ke liye aberrant unke liye use hoga jo cheez abhi normal nahi samjhi ja rahi something that is considered different and not more normal so that is termed as your aberrant right next is your now how to use this word in sentences now see this is termed as something that is not normal you cannot see a normal a human with a robotic face and all that to so, jaise agar aapne robot ki movie dekhi hai to usme there are two kind of rajni kans ek jo hai wo sab kuch kar sakta that is a robot only so that is also termed as aberrant not normal something different from the standards they are not the tales of aberrant individuals but of societal norms अब इफ आई से देर इज अर वॉज अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ सती सिस्टम राइट तो सती सिस्टम था उसमें क्या चीज आ रही है इफ आई जस्ट से देर वॉज अ गर्ल नेम रीटा एंड ही शी जस्ट डाइड ऑन द यू कैन से शी सेक्रीफाइज हर लाइफ एज अनदर हजबेंड डाइड सो दिस यू विल थिंक लाइक वाई शी डिड लाइक दैट 
अभी वो हम समझा रहे हैं कि वो एबरेंट इंडिविजुअल नहीं थे वो पागल नहीं थे बट एक्चुअल में सोसाइटी की नॉर्म ऐसी थी कि जैसे ही हस्बैंड की डेथ होती है द वाइफ हैज टू गिव हर लाइफ राइट सो दिस इज टर्म दास दे आर नॉट एबरेंट टेल्स of the individuals but of societal norms now tales means stories right some fairy tales and all and norms means some kind of rules and regulations which a society accepts and follows right next is your if you have milk allergy your immune system is exhibiting an aberrant response to milk now there are some people who have got wheat allergy milk allergy to wo kya aa jayega आपका इम्यून सिस्टम उस टाइम पे एब्रेंट रिस्पॉन्स करता है मिल्क के लिए मतलब अच्छा सही रिस्पॉन्स नहीं देता है तो इफ यू हैव ऑब्वियसली एलर्जी तो योर इम्यूनिटी गोज नॉट इन नॉर्मल डायरेक्शन बट इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन एंड व्हाट डज एब्रेंट मींस नॉट नॉर्मल डिफरेंट डेविएटिंग समथिंग लाइक दैट सो दिस वॉज योर नेक्स्ट वर्ड दैट इज योर एब्रेंट राइट नेक्स्ट इज योर एबियंस वॉट डू मीन बाय एबियंस like you get temporary suspension latency dormancy interruption or break from something like when you get temporary suspended for something aapko suspend or termination mein matlab clear hona chahiye termination is when you are removed from certain job right so when you are permanently fired that is termed as termination suspended hota hai kuch time ke liye your activities are put in the dormant stage that is you cannot uh, work for a week or two but later on you can join in that's done so this is termed as appearance as a term intermission movie chal rahi hai theek hai to uske beech mein jo break li jati hai break thode time ki hoti hai so that is termed as appearance kuch aap kya karte ho interrupt suppose i am teaching and someone comes in so that is a kind of an interruption we do so your parents are talking and you just uh, pop in so that is termed as an interruption and that is termed as appearance सो सस्पेंशन हो गया ठीक है इंटरमिशन हो गया कुछ पॉज हो गया ब्रेक हो गया इंटरप्शन हो गया डोमेंसी सस्पेंस रिमिशन लर्न एटलीस्ट वन और टू वर्ड्स फ्रॉम हेड एंड नेक्स्ट यू कैन डू एस आप सिर्फ दो दो वर्ड्स हर चीज की याद रखो राइट सो टू वर्ड्स आर सफिशियंट इफ यू आर डूइंग इट एंड रेस्ट यू कैन लीव इट आउट ओके सो टू वर्ड्स फॉर इट एंड देन यू कैन मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट नेक्स्ट इज योर how you are using it how you are using abians in a sentence this regulation fell into abians after 12th century and such inscriptions are very rare i give you the best example like there was a pension scheme which was there in punjab uh some time ago right so before 2004 everyone who worked in government uh, or who was selected in government organization was to get a pension later that activity was put to pause किसी को पेंशन नहीं मिलनी थी 2004 के बाद लेकिन अब वो रूल रिवाइज किया गया और दोबारा से दिस स्कीम हैज बिन एप्लीकेबल राइट सो व्हाट इज दैट देयर वाज अ पीरियड ऑफ एबियंस शॉर्ट इंटरवल डोमेंसी इंटरप्शन सो दैट इज आल्सो यू कैन से एज एबियंस चार्ल्स अफेयर हैविंग डाइड एंड लेफ्ट ओनली अ डॉटर द नेशंस राइट्स सो लॉन्ग इन एबियंस वर वंस मोर रिगेन नाउ व्हाट इट एक्चुअली मींस अस अब चार्ल्स अफेयर है उसकी डेथ हो गई एंड आफ्टर दैट ही लेफ्ट ओनली द डॉटर सो कई बार होता है द पर्सन डाइज आफ्टर दैट द प्रॉपर्टी इज देयर एंड यू कैन नॉट गेट द प्रॉपर्टी एट द वेरी टाइम सम थिंग्स आर पुट टू पॉज सम थिंग्स आर पुट एट एबियंस सो लेटर ऑन दैट थिंग्स गेट रिवाइज एंड देन यू गेट द थिंग्स फ्रॉम योर साइड सो दिस इज अ हाउ थिंग्स वर्क सो एबियंस का मतलब क्या आ जाता है जब आप किसी चीज को पॉज पर इंटरवल पर ब्रेक पर रखते हो that is termed as abians right i hope it is clear to all of you next is called as next word is abho even i have discussed this in my vocabulary section also what do you mean by abho is abho is a feeling of hatred right suppose you hate something or hate someone that even terms as abho and if i say as like uh, what you are doing or uh, you have a feeling of intense hatred you do not like someone at all that is termed as abho so abho is a feeling of intense disgust hatred or you do not like someone at all right so it is hate scorn kisi ko buri tarah se bolna dantna even that is termed as abho only you dislike someone 
यू शाडर एट यू स्पर्न एट मतलब किसी को बुरी तरह से बोलना भी अभो आता है द आर एन एच इज साइलेंट डू रिमेम्बर दैट ओके सो इट इज एक्चुअली हेट एबोमिनेट स्कॉन डिटेस्ट एंड डिस Next is how you're using it in a sentence is people who seek peace abhor violence. Jin logo ko violence, jin logo ko peace pasand hai, unko violence se kya hai? Nafrat hai. I abhor this type of insulting behavior. I do not like this type of insulting behavior. People who seek peace abhor violence. Jo logo ko peace pasand hai, unko violence se nafrat hai. If you abhor racism, you can make a big difference by fighting in it. अगर आप रेसिज्म के खिलाफ हो तो आप शायद दुनिया में बहुत बड़ा डिफरेंस बना सकते हो आई अभो द स्मेल ऑफ बर्न पॉपकॉर्न मुझे बर्न पॉपकॉर्न की स्मेल नहीं अच्छी लगती है एंड आर देर एनी फूड स्टैचू अब कोई ऐसा सब्जी या ऐसा खाना जो आपको नहीं पसंद है सो दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अभो नॉट चिल नाउ आई जस्ट रिवाइज ऑल दर्ड वी हैव डन अभो दैट मीन्स यू हेट समथिंग Next was your abhorrence. That is temporary pause. You take a break, interruption, intermission, quit. That is termed as abhorrence. Abhorrent is you are doing something that is not regarded as normal. Not normal. It is strange, divergent, irregular, unnatural. That is termed as your abhorrent. Next is your abdicate. When you willingly give up the throne. that is termed as abdicate and the first it was abate that is it is decreasing the intensity of something decreasing the intensity of rainfall decreasing the intensity of storm and the next is abase abasement was when i'm humiliating you degrading you insulting you that was the meaning of abase now moving to the next word i hope all these are clear to you and in case of any doubts you can just drop in the comments like ma'am this word is not clear i'll make a you can say i'll help you to understand it in a better manner next is your abjure abjure is that means when you give up withdraw i'll explain you it with the story like you have heard about all the gurus and all that right so guru tegh bahadur ji was there and he was लाइक मैं अपना धर्म नहीं चेंज करना चाहता बट मैं क्या करना चाहता हूँ मैं अपनी जान मैं सेक्रीफाइस अपने नेशन के लिए सेक्रीफाइस देना मंजूर करता हूँ पर मैं अपने धर्म को कन्वर्ट नहीं करूंगा इन टू इस्लाम राइट सो दिस वॉज अ काइंड ऑफ थिंग दैट वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड मेनी गुरुज मेनी पीपल दे गेव दे सेक्रीफाइस देअर लाइफ फॉर ह्यूमैनिटी फॉर मैन काइंड राइट सो दिस वॉज टर्म एज एब्जोरे यू कैन कॉल इट एज Where it is about give up, right? Give up, करना, withdraw, करना, forswear, करना, right? You deny that you won't convert your religion, but you are ready. What you are ready for? You are ready to die, but not give up your religion. बहुत आपने देखा होगा. There was a movie. I just remembered it. Uh, it was Triple R, maybe. So there also the person was not ready to bend down his knees. कि मैं I won't bend down my knees. I am ready to sacrifice. I am ready to die, but I want to bend my knees. So that is termed as abjure, right? So it is withdraw, give up, reject, recant, retract. So all these words are similar to it, right? So this is how it goes, and it is also like you give up violence. You you prefer that I won't be violent. You give up your rude behavior. You abjure your rude behavior. You abjure so many negative things in your life. that is you give up you withdraw from that things right so how to use this word in sentences is c he was asked whether certain books had been written by him and whether he was prepared to maintain or to abjure what he had written so he was given two situations ki kya wo kitabein aapne likhi hai kya aap ready hai un cheezon ko maintain karne ke liye ya fir aap mana karte ho give up karte ho ki aapne you deny that you have not written any of the book right many halanzers relate round those who were minded to die rather than abjure their religion so these are actually the greek people and the greek people they relied that they were ready to die rather than they were not ready to give up their religion ki hum apna religion nahi chhodenge hum convert nahi honge but we are ready for what thing we are ready we are ready to change it out right 
we are ready to die but not convert our religion so this is a list and also you can have it in a your constitution also to safeguard public property and to abjure violence so you have your fundamental rights and duties there also this word is mentioned where it is mentioned that you need to abjure violence you need to give up violence you need to deny that you want to be violence in the society so that is the meaning of abjure so this is how you remember ki abjure aap remember kar lo kisi religion ke sath ya aap remember kar lo fundamental rights ya aapke constitutions ke sath right next word is are this is abrasive abrasive is a thing like i just tell you when you are washing the utensils and all that so there are some utensils which have lots of you can say that requires lot of hard work and you use it like uh, if i say is it's with hard sponge and all steel wool you use so steel wool can be termed as abrasive so that is termed as something that is rough it's sharp it's cutting it's annoying it's biting it's erosive it's grating and even one more thing in this is like it can be used for a person also how for a person a person who is very rough very rude there are people who are very soft spoken very polite but on the other hand there are people who are extremely rude extremely harsh and extremely they do not know how to talk so that can be termed as an abrasive personality so abrasive personality you remember with steel wool also that's something that is not polite not soft very hard cutting and rude right so it is harsh rough annoying biting nasty cutting irritating and caustic now whoever is present in the class and whoever is learning something do let me know that are you able to understand and learn these words also because such things would motivate me to bring more such videos for you like if you will be continuing it out and how you want it to be done do mention in the comments that's much needed okay so next is your the next is how you use this word abrasive in the sentences now first is polish is mildly abrasive sorry now it is polish is mildly abrasive and can help to remove stains and water spots so how it is there like something you are reducing and aap kya karte ho kisi cheez ko ragad ke saaf karte ho so that is done by abrasive substance right next is other mineral products are graphite garnet used as abrasive pyrite and zinc ore so there are the some kind of you can say uh, metals and all that how the things need to be cleansed and kis cheezo se hota hai wo cheeze mention kiye jate hain her abrasive personality this is something i mentioned you before also her rude her not so kind her you can say very bad personality tough personality that is termed as the abrasive personality made it hard to get close to her as a friend she would say harsh or some mean things and not care if she hurt feelings so that is termed by abrasive that is person who is very new to you wo kuch acha hi nahi bolega aapko bahut buri tarah bolega aur aapko kya hoga you won't like to be friend with that person right so this is a meaning of abrasive now it's rajiv rajiv clear with these words like if i'll ask a quiz at the end right there will be a quiz well some pictorial representations will be there and you need to relate every picture with the word right so in this way we will be covering thousands of words a total thousand words of high frequency right and this is very important in gre so i want like 10 10 after 10 10 every week you are able to clear it out next is your this one a breast what do you mean by a breast is a breast ka matlab hota hai when you are keeping something up to date now if i ask you all of you who are present in the class everyone has a smartphone why don't you have a button phone phones hi use karne hai button phone kyu dalte ho why don't we dress up or you dress up in the terms of uh, you can say kurta a pajama or always you are in the uh, as mahatma gandhi used to dress up aap kyu bell bottoms or jeans and all that why you are influenced by that because all of us want to be up to date we want to keep ourselves up to date we want to follow the current what is happening in the lifestyle of the persons we are in india right now and we need to know that what is happening all over india plus in the countries apart from india right so that is a breast means when you are keeping yourself up to date clear so this is termed as when you are keeping yourself informed kya ho raha hai duniya mein pata hona chahiye 
familiar shoulder to shoulder line by line side by side right so that is aap kisi ke sath shoulder to shoulder stand kar rahe ho matlab aapko us cheez ke bare mein sab kuch pata hai so when that is termed as a breast right so that is when in alignment in line in shoulder to shoulder side by side equal beside you are informed about that thing and you keep yourself up to date about that thing so that is termed as keeping yourself abreast next is what are the sentences it is used in so abreast aap news ke liye bhi karte ho fashion sense mein bhi aap apne aap ko abreast lekar chalte ho like semi winter clothes need to be worn at this time then we will have some of the winter fashion long coats and all that to wo kya aa jata hai apne aap ko abreast rakhna he insisted on keep being kept abreast of the news matlab wo chahta hai ki roz wo news sune and that is what we are bringing for you as like vocabulary related with current affairs and you might have seen some of the videos where every day suppose it was economy sluggish economy how it was in the corona times what is the meaning of economy so such things will go on where we want our students to be kept up to date right so that is the terminology so abreast means keeping yourself up to date of the news fashion sense anything three of the men walked abreast along the narrow road तो वो लाइन टू लाइन साइड बाय साइड तीन मैन चल रहे हैं मतलब एक ही रो में कर रहे हैं इन एजुकेशन कैथोलिक चर्च एंड यूर्स टू कीप अब्रेस्ट हो बेस्ट सो एनी एजुकेशन स्कूल कैन बी देयर एंड एवरी स्कूल एवरी पेरेंट व्हाट दे वांट इज दे वांट देम टू कीप अब्रेस्ट लाइक वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन द सोसाइटी वॉट एवर इज हैपनिंग एंड वॉट एवर इज बेस्ट दैट थिंग्स नीड टू बी एक्वायर्ड राइट नेक्स्ट इज योर average now this is very simple word bridge bridge what the bridge does it is suppose in one city and other bridge aapki length ko kya kar deta hai reduce ko kar deta hai theek hai so a bridge means when you shorten something aap chhota kar rahe ho us cheez ko reduce kar rahe ho kisi cheez ko curtail kar rahe ho kisi cheez ko cut kar rahe ho kisi cheez ko to jab aap kam kar dete ho kisi cheez ko that is termed as abridge right so when it is an abstract decrease curtail shorten abbreviate abbreviate ka matlab kya hota hai wifi hai hum wifi bolte hain ab uh, any news channel you take it we just say is like ndtv or something like that we don't use full forms for it right so what is it called as abridge chote hote aapne pressy likhna sikha hoga what was pressy writing it was one third of the actual total so even that was termed as abridge right so abridge ka matlab kya aa gaya shorten and sometimes we say to our friends uh, some people have the habit of telling long stories so we just say ki chote chote points mein main points mein baat karo like what is the main point about so that is termed as abridge shorten curtail cut or you can say reducing the length of something right so these are the words you can have an idea downsize karna size kam karna decrease karna clip karna all these words okay next how to use it in a sentence he wrote because he liked to write and he did not abridge because he cared not to abridge usne likha kyunki wo likhna chahta tha usne abridge nahi kiya kyunki wo abridge nahi karna chahta tha wo puri story apni explain karna chahta tha isliye usne usko short nahi kiya the writers of harry potter movies had to abridge the lengthy story so the film would not be too long अब जब भी हमें कोई बात बतानी है या स्टोरी भी है मूवी भी है नाउ द मूवीज आर ऑफ टू आवर्स नॉट ऑफ थ्री आवर्स मेनी मूवीज दीज आर बीन रिड्यूज टू द शॉर्ट एंड द लेंथ ऑफ थ्री आवर्स थ्री आवर्स में क्या आ जाता है दिस इज व्हाट एक्चुअली हैपेंस कि अब चीजों को रिड्यूज किया जा रहा है दे आर साइज इज बींग रिड्यूज राइट सो दिस इज टर्म दस एब्रिजिंग इट आउट राइट नेक्स्ट यू कैन हैव इट असेंडेंस immediately afterwards he was a member of commission appointed to revise the laws and force on the state to select a bridge alter and digest them matlab usko member banaya gaya tha taki jo bhi cheeze commission mein pass ho rahi hai un cheezon ko shorten karne ke liye length ko reduce karne ke liye aur un cheezon ko curtail karne ke liye so i hope it is clear to all right so before i start with the quiz i'll explain all the 10 words and i'll take an extract ताकि आपको जल्दी से रिवाइज हो जाए एंड अटेंडिंग प्लीज ड्रॉप इन द कमेंट्स इफ यू वांट टू बी एन एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेंट 
so that when I feel like you are able to understand it out. And in case of any doubt in any word, and you want it to be explained in Hindi, Punjabi, English, do let me know in the comments. Okay. So I'm going to start from the very first word now. Anyone who has got any problem can just mention in the comments. Right? Now see, I'll take this one, this page from here, where I'll revise you and I'll make you revise like you have done one exercise of Manhattan, right? So the thing you really need to follow for your GRE exam, and this is one of the best things, I am bringing it for you, right? So first is a base. A base ka matlab hota hai when you are degraded, humiliated, aapne kya kiya? Us kisi cheez ko sharminda karwana. Kisi ko nicha dikhana, kisi ko humiliate karna, sharminda karna, insult karna. So whenever you are told, apni aukat mein raho, aukat a jati hai matlab niche mein raho. So that is termed as a base. Degrading, humble to lower in rank, status or esteem. That was the first word. Second is your abate. What do you mean by abate is? Abate hota hai kisi cheez ki intensity kam hona. Reduce hona. Thik hai? Suppose bohat tez barish ho rahi thi, bohat tez aandhi a rahi thi. Kuch bhi, aapko bohat tez siddar do raha tha. So when you take a painkiller, the intensity of the headache reduces. When you do something like that, you are able to uh, intensity rainfall. बहुत तेज आ रही थी, धीरे-धीरे, धीरे-धीरे कम होती है. So decreasing slope of it, that is termed as a bait. So this is the slope that is followed, right? So this was the second word. Third word is abdicate. Abdicate का मतलब क्या होता है? जब आप किसी throne को, किसी responsibility को give up that I am not responsible for this thing anymore. If you've seen some of the Indian dramas and all that, you can say there's a keying of all the keys and all that. So a bunch of keys, she gave it to her, uh, you can say um, uh, whatsoever is there, like if there is a house or something else, she gives it to her. So what she does is, she keeps it and keeps it and keeps it and keeps it and keeps it. So this is something what they say. So that is termed as abdicate. Formally give up something, formally give up the responsibility of it. Right? That is termed. Or even you can call it as surrender. When you formally admit that I have done the murder and all that. So even you are surrendering for it, resign in your job. So you put it willingly and resign. That is also termed as abdicate. Next is your abort. Abort is like something you consider not normal. Say, if I say, now um, you will take any example of a comic figure, yeah, kuch bhi, hana? Mr. Bean was there. You won't count it as a normal person, right? So something is abnormal, not normal, or you can call it like someone who is deviating from a standards. It's normally what we do, but someone does something really different. I mean, that is termed as aberrant. Or abortion, jo hota hai, that is actually a temporary break from something normal. Like a holiday or you can say break from usual activities of the office, that is termed as abortion. So aberrant is when someone is not normal, he's deviant, he's not behaving in a proper manner. Next you have is abeyance. Abeyance means as when you are temporarily suspended from something. You temporary, it's kind of a break, it's kind of an intermission, it's kind of a, you can say, aap thode time ke liye kisi cheez ko pause kar dete ho, that is termed as abeyance. So abeyance is when you take a temporary break or you can say you pause that thing for certain period of time. It's temporary suspension, right? So here it is, inactivity, state of inactivity that comes with F. Next you have the word that is termed as abho. What do you mean by abhor is? Abhor is a kind of a feeling you express to your loved ones whom you do not like. A quality or a feeling of disgust, hatred, or you do not like someone at all. So it is termed as I hate you or I abhor you. That was the word. Next is your abjure. Abjure is like when you give up something or when you say, that I gave you an example of uh, the gurus and all that who were not ready to give up their religion, who were not ready to change their uh, religion to Islam, but they were ready to sacrifice their life. Or you are saying you are ending up something. That is termed as a jar. So that is when you give up something, when you break something, you end up something. 
that is termed as abjure, right? So it can be in terms of religion basically or you can say ending up violence and all that activities. It's termed in this way. Next is the word that is abrasive. Abrasive, I gave you the example like when you're cleaning your utensils with steel wool or something, some personalities are there. So some people are very hard. They are not soft spoken. They are very rude, very hard. That is termed as your abrasive personality. So rough, the ones who cause irritation or annoyance. Next is a word that is abreast. Abreast is side by side or you can say standing in a row, shoulder to shoulder, line by line or keeping yourself up to date about something, about the news, about the fashion, about the things which are going in your society. That is termed as abreast. Last word was a bridge. A bridge carries the word bridge. That means you're connecting two places and you're shortening the distance between them. It's like when I'm speaking something and I, you just ask me, ma'am, what are the main points? Main, main questions, bata do. A bridging. Koi baat bata raha hai, usko chota karke sunana. Lesson karna, shorten karna, reduce karna, cut karna, curtail karna, decrease karna. Or you can say as the quantity is shortened by omitting throughout while attaining the main idea. Main idea kharaab nahi hota hai. Isme pressy writing you might have done in your junior classes. So usme main idea was prevalent. Baki jo cheeze hoti hai which you can avoid it. That is termed as a bridge. Now the ones who are attending the class. Any problem to anyone. Please drop in the comments and do let me know in case you face any kind of a problem. Kisi ko kuch samaj nahi aya. And even if you have learned it out. How you felt it. Because after this. There is a quiz time where I'll be discussing some questions with you. This is very important. It's fine. Honey is there. Rajiv is there. Anyone else, please do in the drop in the comments so that I even feel that I am teaching to someone and every one of you is understanding something. Okay. So do tell me in the comments what is the right answer. The very first question is this one. You are given a picture, right? And what is the question is? Aapko hai picture mili hai. Just may a person is scolding something. Usko bohat uski bezati kar raha hai. So what can be the correct word? Abho. Hate karna. Abhens. I want to repeat it. Abrent. Abdicate. Abjure. Abate. Abrasive. Abreast. Abate. Hani, Rajiv, all the ones who are present. Kindly tell me in the comments like whosoever feels like answering. Ki haan ye answer ho sakta hai. Do tell me what can be the answer. A base. Rahul is saying a base. So it's why a base. Now the person is humiliating this person, right? So when you are humiliating someone, that means a base. So obviously he is degrading this. So this was the word and this is the right one. Very good. Now tell me the next one. Now there is a uh, throne like a structure and the crown is lying over here. Or Raja ki kahani hai. So now tell me what can be the word. Abate. Abate means uh, decrease karna. Intensity kam hona. Vaha pe to daant raha tha Zunur. How it can be abate? Tell me this one. You are. Yaha pe aapka crown pada hai. The person was sitting. Raja bhi betha nahi hai. What can be the answer to it? It's very interesting. You need to tell me. What can be the word? Fast. You just need your mindset like if you have heard it properly, you will be able to answer it. And even if you think a wild guess is always welcome. What will be the answer? Do tell me fast. It's always going to be a short class, but we have to make it interesting. I will bring you lots of good questions and this way. Abjure. What do you mean by abjure? No, it's not abjure. Abjure is like you give up something or it's all that. It's about particular religion. You end up something. So, isme end up ki to baat nahi ho rahi, Rahul. That can be the answer. Think about the right one. Willingly, aap throne ko chhod rahe ho. I give the example. I gave it also. Some of the hint. You are giving up your responsibilities ki next person Raj Gaddi par bat sake. Abdicate. Yeah. Yashdeep is right. It's abdicate. That is when you are willingly throwing, giving up your throne. The next higher can sit on my throne. The throne is lying over here. The crown is lying over here. That is termed as abdicate. Do this one. It's very easy. What is the right word over here? 
What is the right word? Tell me fast. It's simple. The person is saying, I hate you. He might, king willingly gives up the throne always, uh, Rahul. Like, uh, I am giving up my throne to my higher, my son and all that. So, just see, that is always in this way. It's, uh, when you say absorb, absorb means end up. Karna. Violence will be used, religion will be used. That they didn't end up religion, but they gave up their own knowledge or their own knowledge. Abho is the right one. It's fine. Hate ka matlab hota hai. Abho and this is the fine. Next is your Nasi. The money is decreasing. The intensity is decreasing. Intensity decrease hone ko kya bolte the? What does it call when the intensity of something drops down? What is the answer? What can be the answer? Yeah. Rahul, I discussed all the words in a sentence also. Like, abjure can be, uh, this belongs to this book. Uh, he was asked, a writer was asked, that does this belo book belong to you or not? So, it is abjured by you or it is written by you. Or something, some people were there who were not ready to abjure their religion. Were not ready to end up their religion, give up their religion, in spite they choose to die or something like that. So, this can be there. This is a term where your intensity is decreasing and this is abate. Rainfall come over here, which is come over here, so that is termed as abate. Next is your this. You're cleaning this thing with some kind of a hard surface or something like that. That is the term. That is an image now. Can you just tell me what does it mean? What does it mean? When I'm cleaning the surface of something with something, you can say it looks like a hard material or something like that. Abrasive. Anyone who considers any other word? Yeah, abrasive is the right word. That means when you are struggling or roughing it. It has a rough surface. So that is termed as abrasive. Use this one. A kind of a character which you feel like uh, someone is not behaving properly. He's not behaving in a right manner. A person does not behave like that. What it is called now? Use the right word for it. How will you denote it? When the person is not behaving in a right manner, what is Kal Rahul? Zunur is there. Yashdeep is there. Tell me fast. What are the names and all? What can be the answer? I'm waiting. It's aberrant. Yeah. It's aberrant or something else. Think about words again. Everyone is with aberrant. When you are, what you are doing is the person is not behaving in a right manner. And that is termed as like you do not think. Obviously, the person is not behaving in a good manner. So, it is not normal, deviating from the standard. And it's termed as your apparent. Right? Go for the next one now. Now, even every person is studying and keeping someone up to date. Apne aapko up to date rakhna kya ho raha hai dunia mein padna roz. Newspaper kyo padte ho? That is termed. What it is called now? Zanur, you are answering for this, Abhyas. Abhyans ka temporary suspension tha. Temporary suspension kaise aal jayega? Here, the person is keeping, the cat and all the animals are keeping themselves up to date. The, what does it mean? Rahul is telling me a breast. What is the other meaning? Zunur is there, Yashtip. I'm not able to see the other answers. You need to have it out. Like, aur achche se jitna practice karoge questions ko, at last you will be able to remember it out. This was the very first lecture. I'll bring more for you. Sentence equivalence discuss karenge. Utni jaldi aapki profession ho. Batao. Zunur, what is the answer then? Kya aega iska? A person who keeps himself up to date. Who keeps on standing. Abreast. Right. So where is abreast now written here? So abreast is a word. Okay. And tell me what? That is forming a connection. Two people are there. They are trying to bridge or you can say they are forming a connection and all. What they are trying to? Reducing the length or distance. Something like that. What will be the answer? 
Tell me fast. Kazi, Rahul. Where is Yashadeep? It's a bridge. Rahul is good. Yeah. It's a bridge when you are shortening the distance between the two persons. You are making them meet together. That is termed as a bridge. Very good. Go for the last one now. It is, I told you in fundamental rights also, we discussed one of the sentence based on it also. You are ending. We should end the violence against women. What is at the word? And it's a very important one. You need to end up violence for against the woman. One of the fundamental rights and duties have been, what is the right answer? Now, if you are able to do it, means you have got, you have understood something today. And before I'll end up, I'll just speak once again for the last time so that the words vocabulary goes right straight into your mind. That's much needed. Tell me fast, what is the answer of the last? Jaldi, Rahul, Yeshtev, it's abjured. Everyone, let's wait for the others also. Rahul, Kazi, Zunur, what is the meaning of your name? Uh, it's different, right? Zunur, what does it mean? Abjured, abjured. Everyone is with abjured. Rahul, you are left. What is the meaning of, uh, what is the answer of this sentence? Tell me fast. What is the meaning? Ending up. So no, do tell me the meaning of your name. It's very different. I, it's related to Noor. Why Zoo? Rahul, what is the answer? Fast, fast. What is the answer of it now? Ending up. End up What's up with the Nice. Okay. Yeah, Rahul, you are left now. What is the answer? Straight away fast if you remember it. Or I'll just tell you, declare the answer. Yashadip mentioned abjure and even uh, Rahul mentioned with it. Zoo forward. Okay, right. Nice. It's something new for me even I'm learning from you. Okay, so it is, obviously it means abjure, that is to end up. I hope all of you are clear with the terms and whosoever joined late, please join in the next and do watch it full. What were the terms? Abhor, I hate you. Say, I abhor you. Abeyance, it's a temporary break or suspension, postponement. Jab bhi break aati hai, movie ke bheesh mein intermission, that is termed as abeyance. Abrant, aapka ek, uh, you can say some kind of a road trip you take for, uh, to leave from a normal, uh, to leave from office routine and all that, that is termed as abrant. Ya fi you call it as something that is strange, something that is not normal, that is abrant. Abdicators, when you formally give up your throne, formally give up your responsibility, I don't want to work anymore, you resign. That is even termed as abdicate. Abjure, what do you mean by abjure? Abjure means when you end up something, end up your religion, like you should not be like uh, violating the woman, you should not be have some kind of a domestic violence, you should stop all these things, that is abjure. Abate is lessening the intensity of something, abrasive is something that is very rough, very hard, some people are very polite and some people are very rough and very rude. That is termed as abrasive. Abreast is keeping yourself up to date. A base is humiliating someone, insulting someone, degrading someone to the lower level. A bridge is shortening and telling the things and brief, cutting short the things. Now, this was the list of first and high frequency words. How did you find the lecture? And any of your things which you think that you need to discuss and ask any query. So please drop in the comments. It will be every Wednesday at 5 p.m. I'll bring a list of 10 high-frequency words with you. Okay, so do remember, like, there are total of 1,000 words. That's it. And even if you're preparing for any exam, vocabulary is must. So, you have to remember those words. Those words you have to remember. These words you will go to the dictionary, Oxford. Ki. The simple also, if you're learning your vocabulary section also, that would improve it, right? So, this is there. Next, before it ends, one more thing I want to tell you. Vocabulary pe focus karo, English ki. Everyone asks me, ma'am, English speaking, how increase karni hai? Ye kaise increase karna hai? Do a TED for the list. And this is must. Not only for GRE, I tell you. It is for general people also preparing for any other examination. And for gate and all that. That is must. Okay. So this is a way we will go for this. Thousand frequency words. All the Manhattan will be covered. Sentence equivalence ke lectures. Mene aap liye record karke. I'll put it out. Taki jitti 128 total exercises hai, you can have, you just listen it out. 
do not if you will just go through the book and you just be revising it out no fun you won't be able to understand or recall so that is why you need to be extra active and you need to be extra passionate to do it and i want your feedback because even that is important for me how you think that things need to be moving ahead right so any problem from anyone and uh, did you find it good or something like that do drop in the comments for me so anyone who has got any problem before i just put an end to it rahul zanur yashdeep you understood it yeah rahul i will be keeping it out like if you think that i should be taking it out and what are the portions you want for it do drop it out i'll think over it and we'll plan accordingly now tell me thank you zanur and do attend the live classes it's must and you should be passionate enough and i should be passionate from your feedback right i hope everyone it's clear to all of you so we'll meet next on wednesday at 5 pm make it a list make it at a priority that you have to improve your vocabulary and high frequency words are going to help you in your rcs sentence equivalence and plus text completion do follow it out okay so take care and have a nice day meet you next wednesday 5 pm bye bye